four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. Conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. I was really nervous, but I, I took a deep breath. I took my time and I did my best. And this is a school for very bright kids with learning differences. Um, and the, the fascinating thing about working here and teaching here is that you get to encounter all these minds that are so different. Learning the Gettysburg Address has been much more than a history lesson for most of these kids. I think we brought the program here to Eagle Hill to show to, to everyone, to show to parents, to show to teachers, and, and for kids, perhaps most of all, to show themselves that they are just as capable as any student anywhere. A lot of them have trouble with language in general and with memorization in particular. Hey, Bill, it is right. I know this. He tends to rush and, and um, sort of tumble through the words. Which they who fought here have thus so nobly advanced. Thus far, so nobly advanced. Have thus far, so nobly. Ooh. We're doing fine. You're doing fine, man. You've, you've pushed along. I think it's important for the students to have the opportunity to um, conquer a task like this. It's, it's a long piece to memorize and then to present it in front of a large audience is difficult. And that government of the people, by the people, and for the people, shall not perish from the earth. We all agreed that Issa made the best presentation. Even if it makes us, you know, maybe stand taller in the hallways or read better in class, you know, I think standing up on stage and performing something like this gives us confidence. So I encourage everybody to do the Gettysburg Address because it truly helped me and I think if you let it, it'll help you.